Yo, what's going on guys? Michael here from MP Fitness. Thank you for checking out the newest video to the channel. So for today's video, we're going to be taking you guys through progressions on how to get better at your pull-ups. We're going to start from beginner, go all the way to advanced. We're going to talk form, technique, how to isolate your lats, how to get them wider, bigger, thicker, which is what we're trying to get, right? So I'm going to take you guys through all that stuff. Also, if you're in the Raleigh, North Carolina area and you want to train with me, go ahead, reach down below. I have all my contact info, Instagram, all that stuff. I'd love to see you guys, hope you guys reach your goals. So feel free to reach out if you guys need anything whatsoever. So I appreciate all the support and time to get to the fun stuff. All right guys, so the first thing we're talking about is going to be proper form and technique. So when you see people doing pull-ups, nine out of the 10 times, you know, they're straight here, pulling straight up, chin to the bar, which that's the gist of it, but you're not really, activating your latch. You're getting a lot of shoulders and rhomboids and some rear delts, but to really make sure you're hitting your lats, you know, I always say you want to stick your chest up and you're aiming for your chest to go to the bar. Okay. So a big difference between here and pulling up and then reaching out with your chest and pulling up this way. So right here we have a assisted pull up machine which is really nice to just focus on that, on that form and technique. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to, how to do it in a sense. So this is also a really great starting tool if you're just getting into the pull-ups. So instead of like really muscling it up and forcing it with the assisted machine, you could add weight to it. And as you're adding weight to it, you're essentially taking body weight off. So right here, you know, we got 20 plates. So if you're using 20 plates, you're taking 112 pounds off of your current body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you only have 82, 88 pounds of um, body weight that you're actually lifting up, which over time you could knock that down more and more and more until you're able to actually do your body weight. So like I said, we really just want to focus on squeezing those lats. I'm gonna show you guys right now how to get it and we'll continue to go. All right, so this is gonna be, you know, just a straight back, chin to the bar, but you don't want to do, okay? Now you can see, I mean, you're definitely hitting, hitting some back, but you're not really isolating those lats, right? So what we're gonna do now is work on sticking that chest out and aiming that towards the ceiling, okay? So chest up. Squeeze at the top. And by doing that, you're gonna be activating your lower lats. You're gonna work on that thickness, this overall contraction and squeeze, and not so much pulling with your arms. You're gonna be using those lats to actually pull you towards the bar. All right guys, so got a nice thick purple banner here. So all we're gonna do is just wrap it around the top, pull up nice and tight, and then you're gonna essentially put your feet over this right here. So I have you. So what we're gonna do is pull this down. Preferably have like a friend help you with this. It's a little tricky. And then essentially all you gotta do is just step off. And then just like the assisted machine, the band's gonna help you pull up. So you're gonna keep focusing on sticking that chest up towards the ceiling. And there you have it. All right, so the next question is, you know, when, when, do I, when do I progress? Like, when do I go from using that band to a lighter band to no band? So whenever you can get, I would say, you know, three sets of eight or 10 with the same band, then you can gradually go to the next one. So maybe you go three sets of eight or 10 with the purple band. You know, maybe the next time you do a pull-up workout, you know, maybe try to add this into it. You know, maybe start with one, one round, and then see how you feel, go to two rounds, three rounds. Then you, over time, you know, over the, hopefully a couple of weeks, you'll be able to progress from a thicker band to a lighter band to a lighter band to, to body weight. So now, you know, for, for body weight pull-ups, you know, it's gonna be definitely a little bit more challenging, but 
if you're progressing like you should and using the proper technique and the proper form, you're gonna be able to adapt so much better. So now we're gonna go through just regular pull-ups. For myself, I love using the medium grip. I know, love, I know a lot of people use that wide grip, but for me and how my body is built, you know, I really wanna focus on more uh, not just width, but also the thickness of my lats. And that medium grip is what really helps with that. So that's why usually when you see me posting, you know, pull workouts, um, I'm using the, the medium grip just because I'm, I'm able just to focus on more on that thickness and a little bit more width of my lower lats, which kind of gives you the illusion of not just wider, but also it works on it, you know, further down. So, um, show you guys how regular pull-ups work. And one thing I see a lot of is people aren't really focusing on the quality of what the movement actually is. They're just worried about how many they're getting. They got seven pull-ups, they got 10 pull-ups. Instead of, you know, really focusing, squeezing, pausing at the top, letting those lats lengthen at the bottom, um, you know, the quality's not there and you're not activating the proper muscles, it doesn't matter how many reps you get, it's, you're not gonna get any bigger, you're not gonna get any stronger. Okay, so always think quality over quantity. So go up, squeeze on the way back down, nice and controlled, you're not swinging, you're not flailing your legs, you're squeezing that core, everything's engaged. All right, so in case your gym doesn't have an assisted pull-up machine, you can use bands to help you. So with bands, it's essentially gonna be doing the same thing. As you're going up, thicker the band is, the more weight that's gonna come off your body. All right, so there's tons of different thicknesses. Use medium, a couple mediums, or a heavy one, and then gradually you wanna cut those down. So I'm gonna show you guys how to hook that up and get at it. So remember, chest is gonna be up towards the ceiling. And there you have it right there. So hopefully at this point, you know, you're a couple weeks into the actual like progression of the program. Say you started to really knock out body weight pull-ups. You're able to get three sets of eight, three sets of 10. You're feeling it, but you're not absolutely blasted where your form is starting to go. Then we can start adding some weight. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that looks. All right guys, so really for weighted pull-ups, all we're gonna need we have a nice little belt right here, and then also some plates. So for myself right now, I started, like I said, my pull-ups have always been a weak point. So it's something that over the past, really two and a half months, three months, I've really like dedicated specific time to, to really build and work. Um, so right now, I'm actually built up to 25, 35 pounds um, of pull-ups, which is, for me, incredible. My goal was to get a full 45 pound plate within like six months and I feel like I'm gonna make that happen a lot sooner unless I hit a major plateau. But like I said, something that I work on almost every single pull workout, I'll do some variation of pull-ups. So whether it's at the beginning or at the end, I know that I'm still focusing on that form, focusing on that overall quality of the movement. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get this hooked up and gonna just keep working. Hi right, guys, so that was, you know, that's my rep right there. That's my set, you know, working on those 25s. And what I've been doing now to kind of keep progressing is adding a drop set of just body weight. So I'll do a set of eight with the 25 strapped to me, and then I'll do a drop set, I'll take the 25 off, and then I'll just rock out 10 regular pull-ups, just my body weight, and then go back to the 25, and then keep doing that. Like I said, three sets, eight to 10, and then hopefully get a, a set of 10 with just body weight. And for me, that's really worked, I would say pretty well. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you guys have any, any information that you would like to see, anything that I haven't discussed in previous videos, please comment down below. And like I said, if you're in the Raleigh area, I love to hang out with you guys, love to work out with you guys. So hit me up and we'll see what we can do. So I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I'll
react if I had to Put some things in the past to And don't let them distract you But react if you have to I'll react if I had to Put some things in the past to And don't let them distract you Don't know the time, boy Just pray that I'm, yeah One of a kind, yeah What's on your mind, yeah What hard to find, yeah Beautiful mind, yeah 